Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the 403 for bin error fix, 403 for bin error on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu, type in Control Panel. Best results should go back with Control Panel listed directly above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by two large icons and then select Network and Sharing Center from this listing. And now you want to direct your attention over to the right underneath Internet and it says Connections. You want to go click inside this hyperlink here. So whatever is listed in here, go ahead and just left click on it and then select this Properties button. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4 and select the Properties button. Select where it says use the following DNS server address and now in here you want to go type in 8 and then click inside the next section type another 8 and then two more 8 so 8.8.8.8 .8 alternate DNS server should be 8.8.4.4 .8 .4 .4. If you made a mistake or something, you could always go back to obtaining a server address automatically and that would clear this out. And then you can just go ahead and select OK. That's Google's own DNS server address, by the way. Go ahead and select Close. And once you've done with that, go ahead and select Close again. Close out of here. Open up the Start menu. Type in CMD. Best results should come back with Command Prompt. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig, followed by a space, and then forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should go back with successfully flush to DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. So again, NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset R-E-S-E-T hit enter on your keyboard it should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset so go ahead and close out of here let's restart our computer at this time Okay guys, there you go, that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.